From the Ford Fiesta, we don't move very far. We're going to stay in the same segment, in fact, and talk about the new Hyundai Verna. It's a little preview that we have for you on this car because so many of you have been writing in about it and I know there's a lot of chatter even on Facebook about this RV as it's called internally. So what's the car all about and is it as formidable as all of you have been expecting it to be? Well, Kanti Samba have got a chance to drive it and here is our preview. This is the new face of the next generation Hyundai Verna and the company surely hopes to see this Verna do much better than the last one did. The new Verna is definitely looking much better than what we got in 2006 and that is a direct result of the new design language at Hyundai called Fluidic Sculpture Philosophy and the company's marketing team seems to be playing on that because they are presenting this car as the Fluidic Verna. Inside, the feel and finish is not bad at all. The beige and dark grey combination dash looks neat. There are some highlights done in a wood finish and in black. The interior resonates in the exterior's contemporary design feel. With the climate control, steering mounted controls, a push button start and rear seat armrest, Hyundai shows that it wants to play on appeal too. Now let's go beyond the looks. We took the Verna for a spin from Coimbatore to Kodai Canal in Tamil Nadu. It was a long enough route to get a good feel of the Verna's ride. The roads were also varied enough to test the different engine options and the options are many. Hyundai is bringing its new generation Gamma engines with this car, both petrol and diesel and both have 1.4 and 1.6 litre versions as well. And what's more, the 1.6 litre versions have both manual and automatic transmission options too, so that means six different drivetrain burners. We drove the 1.6 litre versions on this drive. We started with the diesel manual. Now the 127 BHP under the hood felt promising, though that niggling diesel lag exists. The car feels pretty average till the time the tachometer reads 2000 RPM and then the car goes into happy mode. Nice power, good response, typical Hyundai gear shift and steering feel. So is this the city and more importantly the Vento killer? But hang on, the handling and control after 125 to 130 kilometers per hour doesn't quite give you the confidence that the city or the Vento give. The car feels light, the suspension feels too soft for our liking. Hmm. So as a city car, no worries, but out on the highway there could be some disappointment. The petrol versions also gave us the same impression, good city car. But having said that, both the manual and automatic were pretty sweet in that they were smooth, light and easy gearboxes. This new Verna will add more spice to the ongoing battle in the C segment. The champion City, which saw no real challenge for years, is suddenly getting knocked down by the VW Vento and Maruti Suzuki's SX4. And then there's the Fiesta as well that we just showed you. Let the games begin, folks.